Light favorites, Jewel 88.5, seven minutes past nine o'clock. Well, every now and again, a song comes along. We don't play a lot of new music on this radio station unless it's really, really, uh, we think it's going to be a timeless hit. That's sort of what we're known for. So every now and again, a song will come along. We think, wow, that's nice. So uh, we've got a new one for you we're going to be playing in just a second. But let me introduce the artist to you, first of all. Is it Elisa Malatesta? Good morning, Elisa. Good morning. How, How are, are you? you? I'm good. I'm good. Listen, Alina, Elisa, I just want to give our audience a bit of a background. You're a trained opera singer, correct? Yes, I am. And how long have you been doing it now? Uh, for over 20 years, mm-hmm. uh, since I was 15. <laughs> so, how... Oh, now don't do the math. <laughs> <laughs> so so what, what got you interested in this? Uh, well, I was in grade eight, uh, and I saw the Phantom of the Opera when it was, uh, out in Toronto. And, uh, from there I started learning the music and memorizing the whole production. And then my mom put me into, uh, singing lessons right away. And, uh, that's what, how it all pretty much started. <laughs> wow. Very nice. Okay. So we're going to play the song here. It was written by, of course, uh, a good friend of ours, uh, who has, we've played his songs many times, um, uh, Les Kotzer uh, has wrote this along with Lewis Mann. So give this a listen. This is a premiere. It's called Crying to the Moon by Elisa Melitesta. We'll talk to Elisa right after this. Here it is, Crying to the Moon, Jewel 88.5. It's anything Absolutely. My favorite is Jewel 88.5. Well, that'll play at your heartstrings. That is Elisa Malatesta, brand new. It's called Crying to the Moon, and Elisa joins us on the phone. Beautiful song, Elisa. Thank you so much. I'm so happy you uh, you like it. Yeah, you know, there isn't a lot of songs these days where the, uh, the lyrics mean a lot. There's a lot of re- repetition in songs. There's, you know, different types of genres, of course, but uh, that is sort of getting back to the basics, and I'm sure our audience will like that. Yes, I hope so, too. I think it's a great song, mm-hmm. not because I sang it, but uh, it's it's relatable uh, mm-hmm. to to most people and for those who are going through a little bit of a rough time. And, mm-hmm. yeah, I think this brings some some light yeah. into their darkness, I guess you could say. Mm-hmm. So I guess now you're are you making a transition into into newer or popular sounding music? Is that it? So, uh, yeah. Slowly but surely, yes. Uh, I'm still gonna concentrate. I'm, I'm still gonna do some classical, you know, stuff if needed. Mm-hmm. But um, I'm definitely gonna go and move more into the pop genre. I think pe- my fans are really enjoying that a lot more. Mm-hmm. And you've also done a lot of Christmas stuff. I can see by your website here. Uh, yes, I do. I have a Christmas album that I did last year. It's uh, called Grown Up Christmas List, and it's a little bit of uh, classical and and some pop. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And right. I will be coming up with a, a new song uh, this November. Right. A new Christmas song? A new Christmas song, yes. <laughs> Beautiful. Well, we are a Christmas station, so we'll be looking forward to getting a hold of that from you also. Oh, for sure. That's mm-hmm. wonderful. Absolutely. Once again, the song is called uh, Crying to the Moon. Beautiful song by Elisa Malatesta. Not really a new singer, but new to us. And she's from Etobicoke. She's Canadian. <laughs> yes, thank you so much. <laughs> you bet. Elisa, listen, it was really nice talking to you. Uh, Same here. We're, we're going to be featuring this song on our Jewel Radio uh, network of stations, and also it'll be up on our website uh, in about a week. If anybody has any comments about it, you can write to us, comments at jewel885.com. That's comments at jewel885.com. And remember that name, Elisa Malatesta, Crying to the Moon. Elisa, thank you.